stuck in here. So, what can I tell you? Um, so, I guess it's the same questions I asked the girls. Um, how'd you guys, or I guess you as the coach, how'd you get the players to kind of regain their focus and get back into their groove after they kind of yeah. let things get out of you? Well, I, I don't think it was me. Uh, I, we, we were just trying to get them refocused. You know, we won almost every statistical category, including we gave them six points in, in set three and eight points in set four. So, you know, they didn't have to score but 16, 17 points to have a chance to win. And we played behind, uh, and we didn't try to do that. Uh, but I can't tell you how good this is for the freshmen to have to go through this. Uh, I thought the reason we won is Samantha was just really as cool as you can be in the late stages. She took something off her serve, put it in the seams, and uh, just made the other team play. And then Ford getting that stuff block there at 24, I think, was critical because she was just getting eaten up there by Austin and then she got on the, the left hander and she tried to go line on her and that was probably a mistake. Elise got that one and so Elise had very little practice all week so uh, she's had a bunch of, of things happen to her and so uh, I was really happy something good happened to her. She needed something good to happen to her this week and, uh, and that, was, that was a good thing so she was happy with that. Uh, mm -hmm. But I, I really thought, yeah, I really thought Sam uh, was really good. Uh, I, I have to tell you, the first two sets, Garrick put on a clinic. She was just a vacuum cleaner in the back row. So I think she had 10 digs in the first set. I don't know what she ended up with, but uh, she really did well. She's another freshman. Uh, Johnson had to, you know, battle through herself for a while there. She was really good in the first two sets and then lost her focus and then had to come back. So there's a lot of good things we can take from this, but we're kind of playing by fire. Uh, we could have been in a five-game match tonight. Uh, we could have also won in three. I, I thought the one touch call was not accurate there in the end of the third set. I, I really thought we had won that third set, but that happens and you just have to keep playing. So It seems like you generally think of this as a growing experience for the team though? I mean, obviously oh, yeah. it would have been nice to win yeah. three. Yeah, well, I think getting back home is a real wonderful thing for us. Two weekends in a row in the Pacific Northwest, the, all the travel and everything, it's, it's mentally fatiguing, let alone physically fatiguing. Uh, we'll see if we can recover tomorrow. We've got homecoming, we've got all the people here. I mean, th this is a high energy weekend. This is going to suck a lot of energy out of us. I think Utah is playing their best volleyball right now. They uh, lost to UCLA tonight 3-1, but they were in the in the match. So I don't think anybody's going to be easy. So we have to enjoy this tonight and then forget about it tomorrow and get ready for Utah. So Yeah, and that's going to be a tough game. And in, in the last stretch run, you touched on it earlier. I mean, Grecio is such an asset to this team. Um, how, like, how big of an advantage is it to have almost like a game breaker type of player um, heading into the tournament? Well, there's no, no question. If you look at the teams that have gone to the Final Four in the last six or seven years, everybody's had the go-to person, somebody that makes it okay for everybody else, that will take the team on their back when they need to. But Abercrombie's starting to come on. She's our second highest point scorer. We would like to have gotten our middles a little bit more into this tonight. Um, I, Livingston got to play a couple sets tonight and I thought did a very good job. Uh, we need to be developing the rest of our team also in this next seven sets, uh, next seven games, excuse me. And so uh, really happy for Livingston uh, getting in there. And now I need to get Withers in there a little bit also uh, because she's just leaping out of the gym right now. So we need to give her more time. She only got a couple of swings and, and um, I think if we can get her uncorked here a little bit, we can have a full complement of players going into December. And you guys have had, I mean, because obviously Grisha is a phenomenal player, but she is a senior, so you guys have, this is her fourth year, so um, is the difference in this year's team kind of, in addition to her talent, kind of the depth and all around um, complement? 
I wouldn't say the depth, but I do say the leadership. Samantha's been a good player for us for three years, but she is leading this team, not only by example, but encouragement and what she does off the court has been phenomenal. And you have to give Alicia Ogums a lot of credit also as a senior. She's, she's not the captain, but she and Sam really take care of the young kids. They keep them focused and that sort of thing. And then the young kids play hard. You know, they, they play hard. Uh, all of the newcomers, they get out there and get after it. So uh, it's really a nice compliment. And with Abercrombie maturing, Rudden's coming on, you know, uh, uh, Whittingham playing so well. Uh, but she was complimented tonight by uh, Victoria. And that if we get both of those kids going like that, then I think we're going to be tough to deal with. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm going home. <laughs>